Say good morning, ladybird. Good morning. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Mommy. How are you? I like you. Oh, did you come on? Yeah. Did you have a nice sneaky? Yeah, I was snakes. Mm. Think Mommy will fold that basket of clothes today? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think Mommy's going to fold that basket of clothes today, too. What do you have planned for today? No, take your hand out of there, honey. You're going to break it. That's my little bird. Yeah, good morning, ladybird. Ladybird, ladybird. I just a little bird. Yeah. My little bird is mine. Hey, naked baby. Okay. Holy cow, have I lost track of this day or what? I mean, it like went from like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in a blink of an eye. Of course, I spent um, a large portion of the day researching because I heard back from the lady from the Community Land Trust, which is the program we're hoping to use. Um, and she said that we could go ahead and view two of the houses. Now, one of the, ha one of the houses I think she's going to refer us to is definitely in an area that, one, that we don't want to live in. Yeah, can you put it on? Put it on, baby. Um, and, you know, we might, we might still go check it out. You never know. I might be surprised, you know, surprised to see that it's, you know, nice. But I was, um on Google Maps and I was looking at the house and it was kind of funny because in the picture that they have in front of uh, in, on Google Maps um, the house uh, looks different on the outside you know since they've um, done some renovations on it there was like a almost like gigantic like X across the front with like light blue paint it, it, not all that attractive um, but, uh, where was I going with this? Um, but I noticed parked right in front of it was a 1996 Volkswagen Jetta. And I had a 1996 Volkswagen Jetta. And as a matter of fact, it was my favorite car that I ever, that I ever drove. We don't have any more. We got rid of it, um, right before, uh, we moved. It was, it was done. It was it was dead. It was sad. Um, so, um, but that was like my all-time favorite car. So I thought it was funny that when I looked at the picture, that was the car that was parked out in front of it. So you know how on Google Maps you can kind of do the street view? So I kind of, you know, I went around, you know, circled around. And the neighborhood looks cute. It looks like a nice little, um, you know, street with, you know, really cute houses on it. It's a tiny house on a fairly small lot, but looks cute and the only downside is I don't know if it's still up or not it has a chain link fence which I don't like but that's something that we can replace later on with like a little white picket fence or something like that um, but the nice thing is is that it does have a fence so you know I would feel safer letting the kids run out in the back door you know the back door a door into the into the yard to play with a fence in the back, even if it is chain link. So, you know, nothing's perfect. I want a peanut butter Sammy! You want a peanut butter Sammy? Yes. Okay, what do you say? Please. Okay, wait just a minute. So, that's what I was doing. Um, and I'll tell you some more about the research I was doing, but let me go ahead and get Lexi his Sammy first because he'll just be like, Mom, I want a Sammy! This is what I'm making for dinner. Elbow macaroni. Tomato soup, cheddar cheese soup, fast ground beef, mix, mixed vegetables, all goes into the pot. Well, you know, you have to cook the beef separately and boil the, the pasta. I'm going to throw the vegetables in it. And when I was growing up, that was referred to as Danny Noodle Surprise because it was named after my brother. There was a Maggie Noodle Surprise, but it involved... It was like tuna casserole. Nobody liked it, so I never, <laughs> I never got Maggie noodle surprise. But um, 
if you are my brother, then you don't put vegetables in there. Not that he doesn't like vegetables, but the original Danny Noodle Surprise, um, he, he don't throw vegetables in it. Um, and you don't put any seasonings in there and stuff. He's very particular about it because it's his favorite thing that my mom used to make for him. Um, and he's so funny because I, I think Carla put like garlic salt in it one time and he took a bite and he was like, do you put garlic salt in here? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, no. <laughs> I mean, he still ate it, but it was just like, that's not Danny Noodle Surprise. That's not how my mom made it. Um, I throw vegetables in there because, you know, <laughs> I like to pretend it's healthy. Um, and so since the vegetables are in there, it's actually Lexi Noodle Surprise. So I got to figure out a little dish to make for La Lucia. Um, but, uh, anyway, so, um, upon doing some more research, so the neighborhood looks safe, went to, uh, was it Family Watchdog to make sure there's no Creepersons anywhere near, and not in our neighborhood or even a couple of blocks away, so safe that way, um, looks like there isn't a lot of, like, violent crimes or anything, um, just typical things that you would find, uh, closer to the city, like, you know, uh, cars, you know, so there's some burg burglaries, but not in the neighborhood. So, um, you know, those are the that's the downside to living in, in a city is that, you know, you have to give and take. But I think if we get the house, I want to get those screens installed. Um, they're like the security screens, the ones where people can't pry them off the windows or cut them or anything like that. But if, God forbid, something happened and we needed to escape, then from the inside they pop out and then we want to get an alarm system installed. Um, my parents actually have a keypad um, to lock their house. Like you enter the code and it lock, locks and unlocks uh, the door. Um, and you can actually lock and unlock it from your phone. So I was talking to my mom about that. I think I want to get that installed um, in the house as well. Uh, you know, just a couple of, like, security precautions, but, which David and I discussed, even if we continued to live here in Issaquah, um, we would still want to get all that stuff installed. It's better to be safe than sorry. So the only down part about the house is the schools. The schools uh, that Lexi and Lucy would go to are not rated very well um, with uh, greatschools.org. Um, there, there's a school that got 10 out of 10, um, but it's like a 15 minute drive. So I was looking up and I, and I believe according to the website, you can actually apply, um, for like a waiver to go to a different school, even a different school district if you wanted to. Um, so I may, um, you know, look more into that because we probably, we probably should know for sure by the middle of January if, like, if we decide we like that house and we continue through the process, then we should be, like, for sure starting everything in the middle of January, which would be perfect. Um, you know, because if it takes 60 days and we're looking at March, you know, so we would need to be out of here anyway. So, um, we might, now I think about it, we might have to forego our annual, we decided, we've only done it once, but we were going to make an annual, uh, weekend to Valentine's Day trip with the kids to Leavenworth. Um, so we might have to forego that, but we might still be able to do it. I guess it all depends on how everything works out. Um, so the schools is the only thing. Um, and then, you know, Catholic schools are just so gosh darn expensive. And I know that they have like financial aid and stuff. So I might actually look into that. But then at one time, um, uh, we had considered doing homeschool with the kid and it, it started after the, you know, ungodly, devastating, um, unfortunate event with Sandy Hook Elementary. I told David, I was like, I want to homeschool the kids, and I've learned to relax a little bit, and so I'm planning on putting the kids in public school, but, it, you know, I just want to make sure that it's, we're sending the kids to school where they're going to learn, because they're so clever, I don't want them to get lost, and that's what I was reading a lot of the problems that the parents had with the school, um, that they would be going to is a lot of the focus was on children with behavioral problems um, and then children where English isn't their first language, um, which I don't have an issue with that, but I want to make sure that our children don't get lost because they behave well and, you know, their, their English language isn't a problem because that's all they speak. 
So it's just things like that you have to look into. It's just so surreal that I had to look into this stuff because, you know, before I'd be like looking at houses and it was like, we don't have to worry about schools and stuff because we don't have kids. But, you know, that was right when David and I first got engaged. I mean, we kind of got a house. Um, but these are things that we had to consider. Um, but the house looks really cute. It's tiny, but, you know, we would have a backyard that the kids could just run around and play in and we don't have to worry about, you know, anything else. Um, you know, because I can't just, like, open up the back door and let the kids run off, you know, back there um, behind our apartment because it's a large area and there's, like, no fence so they could just, like, take off and run into the you know, the parking lot if I wasn't watching carefully. So it would just be nice to be able to, like, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning, like, okay, we've had our breakfast, let's go outside and play and stuff. And, you know, I, I'm thinking about, like, when we um, get into the house and stuff and we have our vegetable garden, I'm excited because the babies will be old enough that they can help me with the garden and stuff. And, you know, Lucy loves vegetables, and so maybe Lexi will like eating vegetables more if he's helping Mommy out in the garden, you know, with, like, watering because he loves doing that. He loved helping my mom uh, when we were visiting in the spring. Um, he loved going out with her every morning with this little watering can and helping Grammy water the plants and stuff. So it's just stuff like that that I'm really looking forward to. You know, I just I just want each kid to have their own bedroom. I want to have a kitchen that has a layout that makes sense, which this kitchen has like a lot of counter space and a lot of cabinet space. Um, and brand new appliances and stuff and I think it even said that it has a convection oven um, which I've never used before right isn't a convection oven the one where it like can cook things faster I don't know because um, this what I have right now that's a conventional right hi my name is Maggie I used to work for Best Buy <laughs> And I don't know my stuff. Well, that should go to prove to you that I did work at Best Buy because I don't know my stuff. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, those are just things that we're, you know, we're having to take into consideration and look at. But um, from the pictures we've seen, from the way the neighborhood looks and all that stuff, I really like it. So, um, we're going on Monday at 3 o'clock and you will for sure be coming with Mommy. us. I don't know if they'll let us film the house, but we'll definitely tell you, like, our thoughts about it afterwards. So, stay tuned, exciting things. I feel like, hey, with all this stuff, we finally have something more to talk about on our vlog. <laughs> so, if we do get it, you know what? Even if we are allowed to film, I'm not going to do, like, a full, like, walkthrough, because if that is our, that is our house, I want to do it before we move our furniture in, and then an after we move our furniture in, which I think would be fun. So, stay tuned, keep your fingers crossed. You want a banana? Okay. Well, I'm making dinner, and then I'll get you a banana, Lucia. So, okay, I gotta focus on making dinner. So the water's finally boiling. I gotta throw in the macaroni and vegetables, and then, and then just gotta cook the ground beef and add in the soups. And there you go, bada bing, bada boom. Dinner's done. Oh, it's bedtime. We uh, watched um, a rerun of New Girl and then a new episode of The Mindy Project, which was really funny. Um, and then uh, just kind of hanging around. And David's uh, doing some work because I guess, like, everything at work blew up and they need people to help out. So he's going to be working for an extra hour. Um, and then um, I'm going to watch YouTube. <laughs> So, uh, we just, I was just looking through, um, and apparently, like, the area that I'm worried about, the, the, uh, area that most concerned me, uh, is actually going through a renaissance right now, like, it's an up-and-coming neighborhood, so it might actually be good for, she ran out. Oh, she did? Okay. Yeah. It might actually be good for us to go ahead and buy a house, um, since it, you know, it's getting ready to switch over because we might not be able to afford a house there otherwise. So, but I'll, I'll wait to be told. But it was interesting. I was just reading a, a blog that somebody wrote, and apparently, if we move to West Seattle, Eddie Vedder lives there. So, Pearl Jam. Anyway, so we're just going to call it a night. Um, 
Mr. Garcia went to take Lady Bird out, so he can't say goodnight, but see you guys tomorrow. Eventually, someday, I'm going to put the tree up. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see.